Welcome back to the North American LCS. Now, before we jump into our next match, there was a controversial moment earlier in the broadcast that we wanted to address. There was some discussion that erupted on social media after the Gravity versus Cloud9 game as fans debated whether Riv did or did not leave Alltech hanging as suggested from this picture. Now, Riv made aware of the gravity of the situation, <laughs> tracked Alltech down, and made good. Speak, speaking of making good. Pretty damning photograph right there. Oh, it's there it is. See? Yeah. And all is right in the world. Speaking good of making honor. Good. good guy, Riv. Speaking of making good, you make a good pun. Aw, thanks. Gravity of the situation. Va validated, you missed it. Validation from the pun master himself. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we've cleared that up, let's send it right over to our caster desk to return us to our regularly scheduled LCS action. Thank you very much, Dash. Hello, everyone. I am Riving to Biz in the third, giving handshakes out all day, taking over the caster desk for our last two games with Aiden, Zyrene, Moon, and what a few games we got for ourselves here. Get to see what CLG can do if they can keep it going. Yeah, I definitely want to see what happens these games. But Dash, turn back now, because if Freak is giving you validation for your puns, you don't want to go that way. You don't want to go that way. We are, however, heading into our fourth game with teammate taking on Counter Logic Gaming. And it has been nearly a year since he stepped down from the LCS. But Nien is back. It's fitting that his first game pits him against his former teammates here. Yeah, and this is a matchup that Nien's been looking forward to himself as well as everybody else. Now, Nien, he was feeling confident on Twitter and he tweeted, he's anxious to dumpster double lift. <laughs> but, but then, then he backed down. For he got a little cold feet there. On his initial track trash talk, he backed up and he was saying, double lift, you know, he is better than me and he respects him. But I want to see what happens right. there on the rift. Leave it all out there. Because last week, teammate, they looked like a team that needed another voice in their lineup. Cali Trolls, he got really That's fed on Aurelia. He got really fed on Aurelia versus Liquid. And then they started baiting a Baron, and they didn't clear out the vision adequately. And then they fought in choke points, and the fed Aurelia went around the team fight. It took forever. So if Nian was there, this very vocal player, what could he have done there? So Nian, he has been a very large voice on the teams he's been in. Since CLG, I want to see if he can bring his voice to Team 8 and help their shot calling out. Well, we'll get to in just a chance. Team 8, as well, are still on the hunt for their first win. But on the other side of this match, CLG have once again started the split strong and started the day tied for first with an undefeated 2-0 record. So it's going to be tough for Team 8. As Jat said at the start of the day, CLG, golden age. You can get those signs back out. <laughs> from earlier in the spring split. CLG, they're still in the honeymoon phase, though. Everything is going really well, and everybody's feeling confident about their new teammate, especially Poe Belter in that mid lane. He's been feeling great about this change. Aphromoo himself, when we had that interview with him on the desk, he said, it's good to know that we have damage that will show up to these team fights and be very present, very, very impactful in these games. And that's especially important against Team 8 because they're all about the team fights. And with Nian in the roster, who's another team fighting AD carry, it's just going to be more blood. Confidence among all of the teammates is absolutely necessary for the team fights and hopefully teammates has that in control. Let's You're check going out the down the tunnel too, on stop! The line, <laughs> on the blue side, it's Team 8. That's going to be Cali Trolls in the top lane, Porpoise in the jungle, Slushy in mid, Nian now at AD carry and Dodo on support. And on the red side, it's Counter Logic Gaming. In the top, it's Zion Spartan, it's Smithy in the jungle, Poe Belter in mid lane, double lifted AD carry, and Afromu on support. I feel like this is going to be a great game where we have History Teacher on the side of Teammate as the coach, and Zix Low on the side of CLG here as we're about to get in a champion select. Heard recently that the team for Cali Trolls kind of corners him into the, the champions that he is good at playing right now. Not the ones that he wants to